Recovery from historic flooding is slow in the South Sound. We first showed you the destruction caused by a massive overflow from the Chehalis River back in January. Today, people in Lewis and Thurston counties are still feeling the impacts. Fox 13 News reporter Frankie Thompson is in Chehalis with a closer look at their recovery and what's next for flood reduction systems in the area. Crews from the Home Depot are here at the Lewis County Gospel Mission making repairs after severe flooding from the Chehalis River back in January. This is how high the water got inside this building. The drywall now ripped out and replaced with metal. The director says so many people want to know why that flood was so bad when the Chehalis Basin was designed to reduce this kind of destruction. It was so much like an earthquake. You just can't explain the damage flood waters do. Everything was on its side. Um, the water was three and a half feet up. It's been almost two months since the Chehalis River flood, and the mission is still closed trying to recover. We want to make sure that this building, that we not only protect it, but most importantly, that we are here for homeless services. So we have to be up and running as fast as possible. And um, this time it's taken us a little over two months. And honestly, that's too long. We have folks in this community who still are waiting for a shower from before the flood. The flood stretched across Lewis and Thurston counties. It shut down 20 miles of I-5 for several hours, more than 250 homes and businesses damaged. Between the years 2017 to 2021, the state spent about $50 million completing 40 flood damage reduction projects in the Chehalis Basin. This includes levees and dikes, street regrades, and a state-of-the-art flood warning system. The office of the Chehalis Basin, through the state's Department of Ecology, says January's flood proves even more projects are needed to protect more public infrastructure and communities. Storm events um, in the winter months are becoming more common, more frequent, and the intensity of those rainfall events are becoming even greater than they've been in the past. The cities of Hoquiam and Aberdeen down in the Grays Harbor area experienced literally the wettest day on record, the, the most rainfall they've ever experienced. And so um, the science is telling us that we need to prepare uh, for more frequent and more intense floods. The legislature uses money from the capital budget to fund the basin's flood reduction projects. During the last legislative session, the basin received $70 million to continue the work. But this year, more funding for the basin was not on the agenda, though state lawmakers are having conversations about what happened to Lewis and Thurston counties. The office of the Chehalis Basin says as climate changes, the frequency of 100-year floods could increase. It will be requesting more money next year. We are protecting uh, wastewater treatment plants from uh, risk of, of river erosion and flood damage. We're investing in projects that will protect water wells and help farmers get their equipment and their um, animals up out of harm's way. Those impacted say they hope it's enough to improve the basin before the possibility of another historic event. We look to our leaders and city council and, and hope that they are managing so they can not only control the water levels here, but just in this community. We hate to see anybody go through this devastation. The Chehalis Basin Board has a meeting scheduled tomorrow to continue discussions about improvements at the basin. In the meantime, the mission is preparing for a grand reopening on March 14th. Reporting in Chehalis, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.